Let's explore the sum if function. It's basically made up of two functions, the sum function and the if function. So it will look at summing if a criteria is met. So using the sales data workbook and in the sum if sheet, we have a mini table being prepared here for us, which shows January to December. And what we'd like to do down this column here is add up all the sales from here for each of these months. So in January, we write our function, which is sum if, that's equals sum if, open brackets. Now you'll see that the sum if has three sections. Firstly, the range. This is the range that you would like to look up the criteria in. So in our sheet of data, the sheet here, that range is contained in the month. Now you'll see that the sheet already contains some named ranges. Here we have month, which is a named range from the data sheet, comma. Now we'd like to look up in that month, the month number, which is held here. And then we have an option, which is optional, which is a separate range that we would like to add up. So we'd like to look down the data sheet here. It will look in the month column, find the value that is held in A3, which is the number one, and return me the value that is held in the values column. Value is there our named range. Close brackets and return. And we see that we sold $76.59 worth of goods in January. Let's format that. So it uses this sheet here as the data. Now you'll see the named ranges are in here. So if we have month, this is the column that we are looking the value up into. In this column here, we are looking for ones. Where it finds a one here, for example, it then moves across on the same horizontal plane to the value held in value, which is here. And then it adds that into its list. So it goes and finds all the ones, adds all of these values in. It will be the same as filtering this data sheet and manually adding up those values yourself. But instead of doing that, we use the sum if. The sum if follows the syntax of equals sum if open brackets, the range that you're going to look your value up in. Now here we've used name ranges just to make the formulas a lot shorter, but you could use column or row references. In this case, the cell reference of the value we are looking up, number one, and then the range that we'd like to bring back the value from. Now the two ranges here, month and value, must match each other in length and size, otherwise you will get offset values. For example, if month range didn't start until row three, but value range started at row one, then you would get offset values in the result and you will spot that they wouldn't look quite right. Having built our criteria, we can take that formula and drag that down to December and see that it quite happily now looks up the values for each of the months. For this line here, it takes A7, which is number five for May, looks that up in the month column and returns all the values in the value column. And the same as we get down to November, which is the biggest. Sum if the month column, looking for A13, which is 11, return any values in the value column that are on the same horizontal plane. So effectively in the same row. And that's the sum if function. Now you can use it without this last range, the sum range, and it will just effectively sum this range. Now sometimes that can make sense and sometimes that wouldn't really make any sense. We tried that here, equals sum if, same range, the criteria there, and we get nine. And what it's done is it's just added up all the ones. Effectively, there have been nine ones, which is sort of okay until we get to the other month. And you see that February is 44, but that's adding up all the twos. And then March is 51, so that's adding up all the threes. So it doesn't really make that much sense. However, what might make some sense is we move over here a little bit. If we want to add up all the values where each individual value is over $10, we could do that with the sum if. So that equals sum if, open brackets, the value column where the criteria is that the single values in that value column are greater than 10. Now you'll notice that the criteria is in speech marks, not really for any logical reason, it's not text values, is it? But because it's using the criteria, it needs those speech marks around it. Close the bracket for the sum if and return, and we find that they add up to $1,000.89. So that's adding up all the sales that are more than $10. And you can change that value. How many sales are greater than $25? The total value of all the sales over $25 is 519 plus the 87 cents, obviously. So that's using sum if without separate range for the criteria and for the summing. Most of the time, however, it's used with 
separate column for the criteria to be checked against and a separate column for the summing to take place in.